two at the end to Bayern Munich at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium here with Carl. Uh, can you even express what how hard that was to, to, to watch? First half, we was amazing. Honestly, I think we were playing so well. Even though I didn't, the team to start with those three CDMs, I didn't think we was going to do much. First 30 minutes, so we battered them. Son should have had a few. First half, I went went to get a bet. 40 minutes, they scored two two one, and I still thought we'll get back into this. Yeah, second half, man, it just it was just a disgrace. Never seen us play so bad. Why were we so open in that second half? Do you think maybe at two one down going into half time we maybe went for a more offensive approach and tried to take the game to them and maybe it hurt us on the counter? Yeah, I mean I've seen this the whole season so far. We we keep concede a goal before half time and we just collapse. We collapsed and they just battered us and battered us. We just we got battered today and no one talks about our defence the whole season, but our defence has been awful. How many goals have we conceded this season? Seven today. We have a real problem, we're holding on to leads, don't we? Exactly. Aurier can't play right back, he's not good enough, I'm sorry. Rose. Who would you play right back instead of him? I'm, I'm more for giving youngsters a chance, Walker Peters. But Aurier, he's, he had his chance as PSG, they let him go, he wasn't good enough. He, why, why is he good enough for Spurs? Um, Rose, uh, he's lost it. He, I love Rose, I, I loved him, but I don't think he's fit enough for this competition anymore, honestly. What, what would you have done differently tonight in terms of maybe how the team lined up or personnel changes? Well, when, when I was here for the game, and then I, who did we play last week? Southampton. Southampton. And Deli Ali and Moore on the bench. And then I thought uh, they were going to start this week, but, but Moore was on the bench. I thought we would have gone more attacking. I don't like playing three CDMs. I don't think it's good enough for us. I like 4 2 3 1. Mora, Eric, Ericsson and Mora have, have got to be starting. You can say what about Ericsson about, oh, he wants to leave and go, but at the end of the day, he's, I think he's our best player, honestly. We did, have, we did start with three CDMs, but Ndombele did have a great first half in terms of his creativity. And you've got to say, it was probably only when, they, when we took off Ndombele and went a bit more open, that's when they found it so much more easy to carve, carve us open. I think Ndombele, he created a lot of chances today, especially for Son. I just... I don't know what it is. I mean, a lot of people say Poch out. I'm, I, don't, I don't want him to go because I think he's done so much for this club. I love him. He's an amazing manager. But I'm just thinking as he as he lost the dressing room because I don't. That didn't look like they played for him today. Right, but the, 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 a lot of the problems that Tottenham are suffering at the moment is from players not committing their long-term futures to Spurs. Players not, not may, potentially not giving 100 percent. Would changing the manager help with those issues? Because would changing a manager help um, ch um, change a player's mindset to maybe commit their long-term future. I don't see that happening. No, I don't believe, yeah, I think if a new manager comes in, we're still going to have the same, they still want to leave. I mean, I know the Tonga says he wants to play for the club, but I just, honestly, I've been, today, at half-time, at full-time, I was sitting there, I sat for 10 minutes and I was just like, can't believe this, man. We, we, don't, we don't lose 7-2 to big teams. We always give a good performance. I just think, Worried are you as a Tottenham fan at the moment this season? I've been going to I've a season ticket for over 10 years now, and this is the most worried I've ever been, honestly. I mean, we were never competing when I first started, but now it's just, I'm scared that we're going to go back to that old Tottenham eighth place. But I mean, hope, I'm just hoping he can turn it around because I really came to here today thinking we're going to beat Bayern Munich. They're not as good as they used to be. I thought he was going to win, but. I mean, I am very upset today, man. I just hopefully, I hope Poch can turn it around, but I just don't know, man. You know, are you writing the season off yet, or are you still hopeful? I'm not writing it off because we had a shit start to Champions League last season, and we still managed to do it. The result tonight, um, Belgrade beating Olympiacos, that's helped us a bit because now that they're all on one point, they're on three, Olympiacos on one. But I don't know, man. I just reckon, I reckon we've got to bring in some new. Centre back, so that's where the problems. I think the problem lies at centre back. Out of Real Madrid, I don't know if this season they've been awful. We got to be honest, as Spurs fans, have they been? Not I thought Toby's had a been um, by and large pretty good this season. I know we say that, but why are we conceding so many goals? Where's it all coming from? It's that back. It's the back fullbacks. Yeah. I think it's the back four as a whole. They're just not to get. Maybe they don't have enough protection. That's where they say Dyer will come in and do that. But is Dyer good enough for us at the moment? That's what I say. I don't know, man, but hopefully anyway. we'll do this.
for coming on, mate. Thanks a lot. Nice one.